Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another volume of empties. I think the last empties video I did right before we moved on January 1st, so all of these empties in my new empties basket are from the first of this year until now. <laughs> there is a lot. There is a combination. There's hair care, there's body care, there's makeup, there's skin care, there's it's a little bit of everything. So this is going to be a long video. <laughs> Get comfortable. Get comfortable, what? Get comfortable, let me organize all of these and let's jump in. Okay, I've got everything separated out. We've got the most of, I think, skincare and makeup. So let's start with the other sections. Let's start with body care. Um, so I've got a few, it's actually a lot of lotions. So let's do those last. Um, first, I have got this body wash. I wasn't a huge fan of this, but this was a gift from my family right before we moved to use. This is from Suave. This was the Cocoa Butter and Shea Moisturizing Body Wash. It wasn't the best scent, yeah, it's, it smells kind of sour, which is really weird to say, but that's maybe because it's just coconut. I really don't like fake coconut, and I don't like eating real coconut either. I'm not a huge fan. The only thing I happen to like is the Boom Boom Cream. I think it's technically coconut, but it doesn't smell like coconut to me. Anyway, long story short, this was a decent body wash. I used up the whole thing, but I don't like the scent, and I really don't like buying Suave products. They tend to like dry me out a little bit, even though this was a moisturizing body wash. It didn't feel as moisturizing as some of my other favorite just gels um, that I use in the shower instead. So use it up, wouldn't buy it again. Next, this was a, a Christmas gift from an aunt of mine. These are some lotions. This is from Corez and this is the Olive Body Cream Peach Blossom. And these lotions were awesome. So I had like this big full size one and then it came with a mini, it was like a little set. They were amazing. I loved the scent. I really liked the cream. It was a thick body cream that I tended to use just for my hands. I like having a lotion right like in my desk on my on my desk where I'm working so I can constantly moisturize my hands there and then I keep one in the bathroom so that whenever I wash my hands I'm always putting a lotion on afterwards. Ignore my nails right now because they're a little bit messy and I'm going to do them tonight but <laughs> I liked this as a hand cream. I don't know how much it is because this was a gift um, but I know Corez is kind of an expensive brand but I really liked these so they're definitely on my radar now. Next we have one of my go-to's my favorite scents and my favorite lotions. This is from Bath and Body Works, the aromatherapy line. And this is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint uh, body lotion. This is a mini. I believe I also got this as a gift for Christmas, but I just, I love this scent. I actually just bought a candle. They had their three wick candles on sale and I just got my tax refund. So I got a couple of three wick candles and I got one in this scent because I love this scent so much. Um, I do think that these products are expensive, but they go on sale all the time. So never never pay full price for the aromatherapy or really anything from Bath and Body Works. They have great products, but they're expensive. So never buy them without a coupon or unless they're on sale. Got it? Good. <laughs> So I really like this. I'll definitely buy it again at some point in the future. Normally they do big sales with like the full size of these where it's like three for $10 or something like that. That's when I stock up and I get a bunch of them. So I'm waiting for another one of those sales so I can get a couple of these. This was the same scent, but a body gel that came in that. It was basically a little set of minis that I got for Christmas. So this is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief Body Wash. I like this a lot. I do think their body wash is a little too pricey for what it is, but I loved the scent and I did use the whole thing up. I have a little empty of a, uh, what are these called? Pocket bag? Yeah, pocket bag. So it's a mini hand sanitizer. I can't for the life of me get like that last tiny little bit out. I don't know why. I think it's just stuck. But I have a bunch of these. Um, I actually use these pre-pandemic. I used to love keeping these in my purse for, you know, whenever I went out to eat, just doing my hands. Now we just keep these everywhere because, of course, you know, panini. We're in a panini. So I keep one of these, like, by our front door. We also have a big hand sanitizer. I keep them in my purse. I just, we, we have a bunch of them, and I really like them. And this was the Japanese cherry blossom scent, which is one of my favorite scents. My two favorite scents from Bath & Body Works are the, the Aromatherapy Eucalyptus Spearmint and the Japanese cherry blossom. Those are my favorites. <laughs> so I definitely have a couple more of these left. And in my last order, where I bought those candles, I also picked up a set of hand sanitizers. <laughs> I swear this is the last Bath & Body Works product, I think. <laughs> this was actually a lotion that I got Alvin I want to say at least a year ago and he doesn't for the life of me I don't know why he does not moisturize anything he doesn't wear lotion or do anything and I tried to I tried to help him and he didn't so this was a lotion I got him a while ago that he never used so I just took it and I used it this is the Bath and Body Works Ulta Shea Body Cream in Suede this is from the men's collection it was it's a really nice light male fragrance it, it smelled really nice and I used the whole thing up just as a hand cream 
I, I kind of like, I would buy this again. I liked the scent. I, I love their body creams. Don't get their body lotions. Their lotions to me are a little too thin and watery. Their creams, their body creams are thick enough and they're really nice and the scent lasts a long time. That's where it's at. I don't like their lotions. And also their lotion bottles are a pain in the butt. Creams, they're good. All right, and the last of body care I believe I have is this little mini. This is from uh, Sol de Janeiro, and this is the Coco Cabana Cream. Like I said, this is the one exception for some reason to my I do not like coconut rule. This uh, smells really nice. Not as nice as their Boom Boom Cream, but it is really good. This was one half of the Sephora birthday gift that I got back in December when I placed an online order. I'm currently finishing up the actual Boom Boom Cream. It's unfortunately, this was a bigger size and the Boom Boom Cream was a smaller size. I kind of want it reversed. I liked the Boom Boom Cream better than this one, but I used it. You know, I'm not going to say no to free lotion, you know, <laughs> and I do like the packaging and I like that you can recycle it. It smells really good. I'll, I'll take it for free, but I won't buy this full price because these are expensive. All right, let's jump to hair care. All right, you know what? I lied. I have one random nail polish. Let's do that first. I have an empty from Hollow Taco. This is like, it's like 10% of product is still in here, but it did dry out. I tried to use a nail polish thinner to get the rest of it out of there, but it just stuck and it's done. This is the shade Rainbow Snow and I already miss it. I really want to get another one of these. I'm actually probably in a few weeks going to place a Hollow Taco order because I want to get this. I want to get, there's another couple of nail polishes that I either ran out of of or I just want to get a new one of. Um, so I'm going to place that in a couple of weeks. I'm not in any rush on that, but I am sad because this was my favorite go-to like holiday polish and it matches its silver. So it matches everything. I really want another one of these. So I'm sad to see this go. All right, back to actual hair care. Let's talk conditioner. I've got two conditioners in here. First is a mini from Shea Moisture. This is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. While I like their conditioner products the scent of this is horrific i do i do not like this coconut and hibiscus scent i bought like it was basically a whole set of minis i wish i had known beforehand that i hate the scent otherwise i would not have bought these i did use the whole conditioner up but i, I hate the scent it smells like sour it smells like a a berry mixed juice went sour that's what it smells like I, I, I don't. so i would not buy this again but i do like shea moisture conditioners they are very affordable and they're very conditioning i just hate the scent so i will not buy the scent again but i have bought a lot of other shea moisture conditioners and i do love them a conditioner that's been a go-to of mine for a while now this is the not your mother's curl talk three in one conditioner it's got a different cap on it because i lost the other cap and this cap somehow just appeared and i put it on Sue me. <laughs> this is a really good conditioner i um love how like thick and moisturizing it is and it's made a, like a noticeable difference in my hair this is not a deep conditioner this is like your every kind of regular wash day conditioner but it kind of feels like a deep conditioner you know so i'm giving like the best to my hair every wash day so i love this i already have another one open in my shower and i'm hoping to get another one as a backup soon i think you can get these on amazon i typically tend to find them like in target or um yeah in target is where i normally find them Next, I finally finished this product up. I've had this for a while. This was actually sent to me in PR a long time ago. This is from Mizani. This is the Miracle 25 Nourishing Oil. And I only used a little bit of this every wash day or whenever I styled my hair. What I would do is take whatever leave-in like kind of conditioner or leave-in curl cream that I was be what I would be using is put a little bit in and I squirt a little bit of the oil in and mix it up and then I apply it to my hair. That's kind of my favorite way to do it. And then whenever I would refresh my hair to get kind of rid of the frizz, I'm I'm a frizz ball right now, don't worry about it. But to get rid of the frizz whenever I would refresh my hair, I'd also like to use an oil for that as well. So I liked this. It did actually last a long time for the price. I, like I said, I got this in PR, so I didn't buy it, but the price, I did look it up on Sephora. And for how long this lasted me, I do think that price is worth it. So it's a really good product. The only downside I do not like about it is the packaging. The nozzle is way too small for the oil. Whenever I try to spray it, it would always like go like that because the nozzle is just too small for this. Honestly, this would work better if it was kind of like a dropper or a, um, what's, like a, like a, like a this. <laughs> like you open it up and then you kind of pour it out. It'd probably work better that way as opposed to like this spray bottle. I don't think spray bottles like that work uh, fantastic for oils anyway. So since it takes me so long to go through oils, I already have two other oils just in my backup drawer that I ha I'm using right now. So I don't know when I'm going to need to buy another oil. Just to be quite honest. Um, so I'm not sure if I would rebuy that or if I would buy this because it is a little pricey. 
but it is worth it for the price. So I'm on the fence. I've got it on my Sephora loves list, so I'll probably keep it there until I need to buy another one and I'll look back on it. Next, we have a deep conditioner that I actually really like and I'm probably gonna pick up at some point. This is from Garnier Fructis and this is the Smoothing Treat One Minute Hair Mask in Avocado. This is the only hair mask in this line that I like. Every other hair mask in this line from Garnier smells like trash. I got basically a mini set of all of the minis from here and the avocado was the only one I liked the scent of and could stand wearing on my hair for that long. You know, for a deep conditioning treatment, I like to keep it on for at least half an hour, if not longer. Um, the rest of the scents were terrible. This one, I really liked. Uh, this mini is great if you're trying it out. Normally, I get like one and maybe a half uses out of this mini, so the minis aren't really economical, but if you're just trying it for the first time, I'd say try the mini so that you're not wasting a whole tub of product. I need to go in and find out how much the big tub of product is, because I'm just about finished with my current deep conditioning treatment and then I have one more as a backup, I think. So I am gonna eventually need to get a new one. And I do wanna pick up the big tub of this. So I'm gonna see, maybe it might be on Amazon, but typically I see these in Target. Next for styling, honestly, this product is so old, I'm surprised I actually got around to using it. This is the Caviar Repair Multivitamin Heat Protection Spray. This was like an old product I got like in a free like little mini kit. I don't really use heat on my hair much anymore. So I kind of just used this back when, why did I use it? This was basically left in, back before um, my boyfriend and I moved into our own apartment, I had like a bundle of toiletries I just left in his bathroom for whenever I came over and this was in it. <laughs> so I kind of just used it as a styling thing to like get rid of frizz and whatnot. Uh, but I finished it up and it's, I really, I don't have much to say about it. I didn't use it for its intended purpose. I'm never gonna buy it, so yeah. Next, I have a mini um, curling cream that I tried from Cantu. This is the Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. This wasn't my favorite like leave-in cream. The way I style my hair, I like to use like a leave-in or a curl cream, then my oil, and then I go into the gel. Um, so this one didn't seem to play nice with the oils and with the gels that I've been liking recently, so it wasn't a huge, favorite of mine. I'm not gonna probably, I'm not gonna buy this again, um, but I am glad I got the mini. I really do like getting minis to try out, um, especially when the alternative is semi-affordable, but it's a huge tub because I hate being wasteful with products, you know? Uh, for the most part, even if I don't like a product, I'm probably gonna finish it because I know I can't return it and I don't want I don't want to waste it. <laughs> so I am glad I got a little mini to know that I really don't like this kind of consistency or this product so I can just move on. All right, next we have what used to be my favorite gel and I think I found one that works better. So it's, 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 it's being slightly dethroned. So this is from uh, Dippity Doo. This is the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls uh, Light Hold uh, Jelly. Jelly, 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 Gel. It's a gel. These, um, a downside of this is that it's kind of hard to find. You have to either go into a Marshalls and find it for $5.99 or you have to buy it online. And online it's like $12.99. So like nearly more than double like the price that you'd find it at Marshalls at. I do love the scent and I do like the hold. I've noticed now though recently that when I use this gel and just and this gel only, my hair doesn't look great past day two. So like day three, it's looking frizzy, it's not looking that great. But I have found that I really like this gel for refreshing. The new gel that I'm trying works great on like wash day hair and moving on. But when I go to refresh, I actually really like this gel just for refreshing. It gives just the, light, the right amount of hold. It smells really good, so it helps refresh everything. So I am gonna keep getting this whenever I can find it, because I do love the smell. I do like the hold for refreshing, but it's not now my number one go-to gel, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the hair care. Let's move on to skincare. So I've got quite a few skincare products here. All right, let's start with a couple of products I finally finished that I got in PR. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Glow Serum. I got this in PR through Influencer. I really liked this. It was really moisturizing, gave me a great glow. I actually didn't have to put a moisturizer on after I used this because it was just so moisturizing on its own. But this is expensive and I went through it really quickly and I don't think it's worth the price. So while I liked it, can't really recommend it because it's that it's just expensive, you know? It's really expensive. And I feel like unfortunately that's the case for a lot of Peter Thomas Roth products. Next, a product I got in PR. This is from Mix Easy and this is the custom face mask. So I did a whole video about custom skincare. I'll throw it up in the cards um, while I talked about like my updated skincare routine. And I thought that while the products are pricey, the face wash and like the 
um, moisturizer and like kind of those everyday products weren't really worth it. But like the face masks, making a custom face mask to exactly what you need and what your skin needs was worth it. I loved this face mask and I really do want to look into getting um, another one because these are, depending on how much you put into it or how much it is, it's around 40-ish dollars for a custom face mask. But if you only use it like once a week, twice a week, it will last you a long time and it's literally custom to what you want out of a face mask. So very intrigued and I did like this. All right, next, this is a product I had for a long time. Again, this was like stuck in the toiletries bag at my boyfriend's place before we moved in together. This is from Tatcha. This is the Pure One Step Camella Cleansing Oil. So this is just a makeup removing oil. It worked really well. Would I ever buy a full price one of this? Absolutely not. It's way too expensive. I've got better affordable options out there, but I'm glad I finally finished it because I've literally had this, I think for years, because I got this in a kit. I bought a kit a long time ago, which was like the best selling product from Tatcha and I used up everything but this. So it's literally been years. I'm glad I finally finished that. <laughs> Speaking of makeup removers, next, a good uh, makeup remover, not my all time favorite, but a good one. This is from Neutrogena. This is the oil free eye makeup remover. I use this just, you know, of course, take off my eye makeup. I use a cotton round, soak it, and I just don't have to like scrub in my eyes. This is really good if you need to like nip into CVS and get something real quick, you know, it's going to be reliable. My uh, all time favorite which is the Bioderma. I think you can only get that online. I've not seen that in stores anywhere. So um, it is a little bit harder to get, but I do like that one better. So if you need to just get something in stores now or you need a refill or whatnot, this the Neutrogena one, the, well, I'm sorry, what did I say? The Neutrogena one is a good option. Next, I'm pretty sure I got this as like a free sample from Sephora or something. I, I, I didn't pay for this, is what I'm saying. This is from Versed, and this is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. Now, I liked how this smelled, but I feel like it did not take off. I feel like I had to use a lot of product to take off all my makeup. And I guess that's just what happens when you wear as much makeup as I wear. But that seems to be a common problem with some more affordable cleansing balms that I found is that I have to use a lot of the product just to get all my makeup off my face, where I think it's probably easier and more economical to just use a makeup eraser, but that's neither here nor there. Um, this worked decently. I don't know how much it costs or what it is or really that much outside of just it worked okay. Don't think I would buy it though. Next, we have kind of my go-to toner recently. This has been the Thayer's. This is the original scent. I really like the rose scent and the lavender scent. I just found both of those at, uh, I want to say it was either Target. I found it at a store recently, and so I picked up both of those, and I'm using those now. Um, but I had to pick up this original scent one a while ago because I really couldn't find any other scents anywhere. They were sold out. But I do like this. This is gentle enough that I can use it morning and night. The toner that I used before this one, the Ordinary, was so strong that I could only use it at night. And I do like having a toner I could use morning and night. It makes me feel a little bit more fresh, a little bit more refreshed. So I really do like these and they are pretty affordable. All right, next I have this mini that I've had like in my mini drawer for a long time and I finally just used it. This is from First Aid Beauty and this is the Ultra Repair Cream for dry parched skin. I just use this on my face. It's winter. I've got dry combination skin so my dry patches are really coming out to play it was all right i do think first aid beauty a lot of the products are a little too expensive for what they are so i wouldn't buy this full price all right next we have a product that was kind of ridiculous i did review this in my last try beauty box so that's where i got this if you missed that video i'll throw it up in the cards but this is from avant and this is the supreme hyaluronic acid antioxidizing duo moisturizer and according to their website into try beauty box this retails for 130 dollars it's definitely not worth $130. <laughs> it was really scented. It didn't, it really kind of dried me out. Like once I put this moisturizer on, I had to like put on another moisturizer not too long after. Not a fan, wouldn't buy it. That's it's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Next, I have two products from The Ordinary that are pretty much in like every single one of my empties videos at this point. It's the Caffeine Solution and the Ethylated Asorbic Acid 15% Solution, which is my vitamin C. I use my vitamin C every morning. I use my Caffeine Solution right under my eyes, on top of my lids, and on my forehead, AM and PM. I also found out you can now find these in store at Ulta, which is fantastic. Like I was at Ulta a couple weeks ago and we were waiting in line. And you know that the thing with all the minis that is right by the register, I saw a bunch of Ordinary stuff there. So I picked up a caffeine solution. I was so excited. So I am glad that you can actually finally find these in stores if you need to just like run out and get them in the store. Because the one thing that was annoying to me about the uh, the ordinary skincare is that you can only buy it from their website, but then you can get it from the, from Ulta, but then you have to get it from the Ulta website. Now they're available in store. Most of their stuff is available in store, which is very exciting. 
Also, sidebar from editing Monica, I just saw this article come out yesterday or the day before where um, uh, The Ordinary's parent company, Decium, was just acquired by Estee Lauder. So I am a little curious as to how The Ordinary, it's, if it's going to change at all. I'm pretty sure the main attraction of the brand is the price point, so I really hope they don't fuck with that. But it's going to be interesting. I wonder if they're going to be carried in any more stores. Because um, I know they're already in Sephora. I don't know if they're in Sephora. I know they're on Sephora online. And they're already in Ulta online and in stores. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen now. I have two empties of uh, just Blistex, the original regular Blistex. This is my favorite chapstick. I use it multiple times a day. For the most part, I only really wear lipstick now when I'm filming. Like I have a, a gloss on right now and I'm really only wearing that because I'm filming a video right now. In my typical day-to-day -day life, all I wear is chapstick and these medicated Blistexes are just the best. All right, last for skincare, we have this little mini baby from Clinique and this is the Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. Now, this is my favorite acne treatment, like a spot treatment. I love putting this on my acne spots and then overnight, like let it sit on overnight and in the morning wash it off. It tends to really help, especially like those big under the skin breakouts as you feel them coming up. If you put this on, I've seen them just like go really down overnight. Um, I've got these little baby minis of this <laughs> because actually, this is so old. At my last job, so a couple of years ago, at my last job, um, every so it was a, a bookstore, a university bookstore. So every semester for back to school, we would get samples from companies to hand out at the register. And we tended to just be able, we could grab a certain amount of samples every day that we worked or every shift that we worked. And one year we had these little Clinique things as samples. And I got so many samples, I still have a whole container full of just these little Clinique acne treatment gels. <laughs> So I don't think I'm ever really gonna run out of them, ever. So I don't have to buy these. <laughs> I still have them from a while ago, and they still seem to work. Like I just I used this one just the other day, and my um, acne spot did go down. So they're still they're still kicking. <laughs> All right, finally, let's move on to the makeup. All right, finally, I finished up. There's a lot of products that were kind of like on their last legs that I just finally finished. The first one is this Milani Rose Prep and Brighten Face Oil. This kind of surprised me. I wasn't really expecting a whole lot from this uh, oil, but I loved using it as a primer. It just, it looked great on no makeup makeup days back when the pandemic first started and I was wearing masks and just eye makeup. I loved wearing this all over my face to just keep my face moisturized and glowy. And I'm surprised at how much I liked this. Only downside is that the screw top, if you store it this way and it's more than halfway full, it will spill so you have to either store it like yeah yeah to sort of store it like this which is kind of a pain in the butt because my everyday makeup basket if you've seen my everyday makeup basket like shot my stash videos you'll know that the only actually i just measured it this won't stick up in any drawer except for the very top so i would have to keep it on the top which is kind of annoying to me but it's not the end of the world you know but i probably would get this again and i don't know if milani has any other oil like it like scents or types but i love rose and i love this oil Next, we have a foundation that I love and I will definitely be buying again. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Fast Base Stick Foundation in the shade F2. F2 is my current shade match because I am pale as hell. <laughs> I love these. Um, once you get down to like the flat part, you can actually go scoop out more foundation. So I, I scooped out everything because I really did like this. Um, I really want to try and get my regular shade again f2 and then i want to get you 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 can theoretically like bronze and contour and highlight with these same stick foundations but in darker shades so i kind of want to try that out they're really affordable so you can do that so i think next time i'm at an ulta or when i place an online order because actually i need to place an online order soon because i'm just about out of my glitter glue from nyx and i love my glitter glue from nyx so whenever i place that order i'll probably take a look and pick up one of these again because they're really affordable and they're good and they last a long time next we have a product from pixie this was one that really surprised me and i am surprised by how much i like this it's a foundation i'm wearing today and this is the the beauty balm and I have the shade number one cream so this is the lightest shade it is a tad too dark for me so you can see there's a slight difference between my face and my body because this is the lightest shade and it's not really that light I did cut it open and use up the entire product it is an awesome 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 BB cream it is medium to full coverage it works well with a lot of concealers a lot of powders um, it just gives me this beautiful, like not flat, but smooth out 
look like I don't look like I have pores and I know I have pores because I see them all the time but I don't look like I have pores when I wear this it's so great the only thing I really don't like about this is a the shade range it needs to it needs to be better pixie it needs to be better and b the packaging the pump kind of died halfway through using the product so that's why I had to cut it open like all the way up here because the product was up to here when I had to cut it open whereas normally I would only cut open a product once it the pump no longer worked towards the very end of the product but this I did have to keep open for a long time so it did get messy um but it was worth it to me because I really like the foundation <laughs> all right another foundation we had quite a few foundations in the 70s videos huh this is from wet and wild and this is the pump makeup locker three in one uh bb cream I love this bb cream it's a good light medium um the only downside when I finish up the actual like product I am left with these in the lid that I just can't finish. I don't use the highlighter, but I did use the color corrector. And it just, there's no way to like neatly save just those parts. So unfortunately I do have to just get rid of those when I recycle the bottom half. But I really do like the CC cream in here. And I did find out that this is no longer, it's not discontinued. I can still find this on the Wet n Wild website and in various stores. So I have a couple more as backups in my collection. So I really would recommend picking this up if you're interested, if you like a uh, light CC or BB cream, either light to medium coverage, it's really good and it's really affordable. <laughs> Next, we have a powder empty. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Powder. I think technically it's a powder foundation. I thought it was all right. It's not my favorite loose or not loose it's my favorite pressed powder to use on my face and it is a little pricey for the drugstore but it worked pretty decently and it repressed nicely and i did get the whole thing finished i don't think i would rebuy this just because i have other affordable pressed powders that i like more um but it's not terrible kind of just in the middle of the road for me next we have a oldie but a goodie one of my favorites ever this is the milani make it last setting spray i love this i love the scent i love how it works to meld all my powders together i love the spray bottle i love everything this is literally a perfect drugstore product it just it just is it should win all the awards i love this and i already have i've got like at least two in my setting spray drawer right now and I love how like widely available it is. It's in just about every CVS. So if I ever need another one, just pop in, pick it up. It's affordable. I love it. I will continue to buy that for like forever. It's one of my original holy grails and it's still a holy grail. And we're here, we're finally at the last product and I, I've been talking for so long that my throat actually hurts. <laughs> This is a miniature version of the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. This is a great eyeliner. I've just recently gotten back into doing wings and I love eyeliner, I love wings. I believe this was a point perk at Sephora, which is why it's a little mini. I, I love this. I do think the full price of 22 is a little bit expensive, but this is one of those products that always goes on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So that is the best time to pick it up because they are half off. So $11 for a full size of this, I think it's a steal. It's fantastic. So that's it. Oh, there, there we go. That is everything. Those are all of my recent empties. Let me know down below what's the last product that you finished, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.